What's up guys, it's Sergeant Curry Pants of the YouTube Wolfpack here. Assassin's I am playing Assassin's Creed Phoebe. Odyssey and I love it. Oh, it's Phoebe. How is Phoebe here? Uh, okay. I'm gonna let her talk because that's weird that that tiny human is all the way here. I can't believe you're here. Me either. I can't believe we both made it to Athens. It's so much different from Kefalonia. But what are you doing here? I'm here to get you ready. I have to make sure you leave all your weapons and change into these clothes. So you somehow work here? For Pericles? No, for Aspasia. I don't understand why I have to change. It's just what you do here. I felt weird at first, but you forget about it pretty fast. And my weapons? Don't worry, I'll take care of them. We don't want to scare people in there. Well... How is it you're working for Aspasia? Well, I did get into a little bit of trouble after I got to Athens. I may have been a leader of a small group of orphans that tried to cheat Aspasia. We didn't know it was her, though. And you convinced her to hire you? No, she asked me on her own. That was lucky. I think I'm ready to go in. You can't! Not like that, anyway. The Athenians like it best when you try to fit in. But don't worry, I have just the outfit for you. I'll get changed. Promise you'll take care of my things? Yep. Leave your weapons in the corner, and I'll come back when you're done. I like Phoebe. She's got spunk. I mean, she's got that moxie to travel all that way and do all that Feel stuff. I like... Ooh, I clean up nice. nice. Like look at me. Say that like it's a good I'm just... Wow. Is, look at me. If you want me. them to take you seriously, this is the easiest way. Trust me. Is that everything? You're all ready to go in. Don't worry. You've done scarier things than this. I'm struggling to think of any right now. Are you sure I can't keep just one weapon with me? No weapons. Now hurry and go in. Oh, and don't leave without saying bye. Oh, man. Oh, I already pushed. Okay, I'm very bad at parties. I already pushed this poor man. The mercenary and traveler has finally made her grand entrance. Only slightly late, too. Herodotus! Athenians have no problem letting me know when I'm not welcome. It's a relief to see your friendly face. Don't let the company here tonight intimidate you. I won't. Pericles is no king. He needs these guests to love him so that the people love him. And they, in turn, need Pericles. You're not different from any of them. Do you really think these people will help me? They will if you get them to trust you. And you've wisely dressed for the occasion. Appearing trustworthy is the most important part of being trusted, after all. Now then, come, let me introduce you to everyone. They may not look it. This group holds the way to the future on the tip of their opinionated tongues. Ah, Sophocles and Everybidis, for example. Two of the most celebrated playwrights to date. No one can throw stones as far as they can. They appear to be locked in some kind of intellectual struggle, as is their way. He's a writer of comedies, of all things. Comedies, every pedis. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard of Sophocles. In my line of work, it pays to know who the richest and most famous men are. Hermippos has also written his fair share of comedies. You should drink more. Lately, his attitudes have garnered him more notice than his works. However, the fellow beside him, Prodagoras, is a sophist worthy of as much praise as the great Socrates himself. Inviting Socrates seems like a good way to ruin everyone's night. I'm surprised they would let him in the door. Oh, don't let Socrates get under your skin. At least he wore shoes for the occasion. And the poor thing gesticulating like an ape is Thrasymachus. If you listen closely, you'll notice he and Socrates are actually arguing the same points. 
but the wind from his wild gestures deafens him to critique. That isn't at all what I mean. Where is Pericles? Oh, he never attends his own parties. Which reminds me, there's something I need to get... Okay, so I know one person at the party and I know Fine, nobody Socrates else. Oh, he looks fun. He looks I a lot of... Oh, he's expect. drunk as well. Warriors he is fun, drunk, and he has my hair. I like him. Gaze. Oh, and he's oh, hitting on me. Nice. Nice dude in your underwear. But he's got kind of pretty eyes. I like him. Oh, oh, don't for Oh, he's got underwear in his underwear. Who does that? Oh, he's gonna have fun. He's gonna have some fun. Oh, he's gonna have a lot of fun. I like him. I, I like that guy. Yeah, they're all a bunch of snooty people and I like that one guy. He's cool. He's, yeah, I'm just drinking. I'm, wow, wow. I, yep, I have no manners. This is pretty much me at every party, just getting food and something to drink and just knowing one person at the party and standing awkwardly. Gosh, damn it. Oh, man. I literally know one guy and he's that old guy. Oh. And he's looking for someone else. That means he's about to bail on me and I'm going to be stuck alone in a party of people that I do not know and I'm supposed to schmooze with. And I don't schmooze. I'm very awkward. I want to go home. I have a cat that needs me. Me too. Okay, so that was a tiny block scene, but basically the one guy at this party is kind of uh, sensitive to sweet wine. It makes him bath. And the other guy in the kitchen that I was awkwardly just hanging around in because my one friend ditched me and I'm awkward at a party, uh, even in a game, I'm very awkward in social surroundings. And anyway, so he told me to give the guy sweet wine, make him bath, and I was like, okay, cool, that's fine because I'm the awkward girl at a party and I'd like it if someone else bath, so then at least I won't be the biggest loser here. I would not be the girl that bathed at a party. He would be the dude that bathed and I would be the second biggest loser at this party again i'm paraphrasing a lot but basically that's how i saw what happened you know that's just my my interpretation of what happened basically just can't stay away can oh and also this guy asked me for lube um yeah he Apparently, they used olive oil back then. But you know what? Before I give him his lube, I want to ask him questions. So I'm going to talk to him. Because you made me bring lube. Oh my god, am I the original Jurex? Oh my god. The history of Jurex lube. Wow. I am just freaking historically amazing. I am just... Wow. Like before me, people would have been chafing and shit. I just, yeah. I'm giving myself too much credit here. I know that. I promise you that. I come bearing gifts. We're safe! Yes, I saved you all from friction rub and chafing. I'm just brilliant. I'm awesome. You guys won't have like horrible bloody burns and chafing and lesions and i'm fantastic yes oh yes you know what i spend a lot of my time killing people it takes a lot of cassandra's energy let her get laid let the girl catch a break go for it cassie you go for it. you do it girl you go for that you grab that grady i wonder if wow okay i'm gonna say it. i'm just gonna say it. i wonder if the you know carpets match the drapes oh they don't show anything ah oh, that's no fun that oh oh they're taking a long time wow she looks very relaxed damn you know what? let me just tell you it's in my method it's you had let loose and he had fun and he was one of the most badass assassins we've had so she needs to just let loose like that focus i'm looking for a woman who fled sparta a long long time ago 
fled Sparta. No one flees Sparta. But let's pretend she did. If she were stupid, she'd be dead. If she were smart, she'd do what Aspasia did. She'd earn her independence. The smartest and most resourceful women I've ever met have been in Corinthia. The Athera? I've heard they play some sort of role in Corinth, but I assumed it was the same as any other city. Oh, no. These women are unlike any other you'll meet. A force. And the only ones there with any smarts. Ali! Come back inside! Ooh, the celebration continues. When you reach Corinth, find Anthusa. No one goes in or out of the city without her knowing. Until we meet again, warrior. Anthusa in Corinth. It's not much, but it's a start. Alright then, now I just gotta figure out what I'm doing next. Okay, Oil and Love. A perfect title right there. I love the names of each quest. It's just... Okay, that guy's clap dancing. He needs some moves, clearly. A new face in Pericles' abode. Ha! That in itself is a remarkable thing. You must have seen me doing my impression of Cleon. I call it the orange ape. Tell me, what does it think? Did you just call me it? Watch your mouth, Athenian. It speaks, and so feisty too. Sometimes I wonder if I'm doomed to be the only young and beautiful thing here. So, what do they call you? Cassandra. Hmm, I wouldn't peg you as a Cassandra, but never mind. I'm Aristophanes, and this man is Evripides. Oh, go on, introduce yourself. I'm Evripides. For a playwright, you're not much for words. Good men lead quiet lives, as old Evripides likes to say. Don't you, Evripides? When I need to relax, I start a fight. For you, though. Quickly, bring him some wine so that he might say something clever. After my argument with Sophocles, I think I'd rather keep my head clear. I'm Pericles' new servant. I'd be happy to bring some wine. An Athenian servant, you. And these are wine-pouring muscles. I was a rower on Pericles' ship where he took pity on me. Now I pour wine for people who question my word. And his. I, I wasn't questioning. I... Perhaps one drink. I'm only here because okay, so my plan is to just get this guy talking by getting him very, very, very drunk. And I'm pretty sure he is the life of the party when he is drunk because he is freaking silent right now. And I know the silent ones, they're fun when they're freaking, you know, intoxicated. Don't listen to me, guys. Liver cirrhosis is a thing. He just needs time to recover from his outburst. Pericles has invited all of you here for some reason. Either we dine here and praise Pericles, or we dine with Cleon. But Cleon has all the charm of a typical politician. A horrible voice, bad breeding, and vulgar manners. Let's conjure Dionysos, shall we? This... this is pure swill. Amateur. In my day, this would be considered nectar of the gods. Another round! Ready for more? Yeah, I can hardly stomach this pig's piss. I could outdrink both of you with one hand. Let's have some more. You ready for another? This wine is terrible. You, I like you. <laughs> Who brought you here? I brought myself. I'm on the trail of a woman who fled Sparta a long time ago. 
Fled? Why? She lost two children. She had no choice. She fled to heal a broken heart. Every Pyrrhus, write her into a play. I've heard Spartan mothers go to a sanctuary in Argolis to beg Asclepios for his divine pity. I should know it's my home. After what she went through, I'm not sure she'd trust priests. Uh, then she sought my friend, Hippocrates. He's a physician, best of the best. He still keeps his office in Argos. If she went to him for help, there's no doubt he'd have given it. I love getting drunk and singing. Come back if you want to sing with me. I'll think about it. Hippocrates in Argos. How's every Pidis? Drunk, I hope. You can stop hiding in here. Every Pidis won't notice you coming out. He won't notice anything. Hiding? Heed this. War has come to Athens. First they take our homes, then they take our heads. I intend to be found with at least my dignity intact. Or what's left of it anyway. If you see Pericles, tell him I said thank you for another colorful evening. Yes, you come and talk to this infuriating air blooder. I've had... Being so new to Athens and gaining access to this symposium is no small feat. Though you said there are things you wouldn't do, you gain Pericles' trust so quickly. I've made my choice. You really intend to use this young destruction to avoid the point being argued? You have been arguing a single point all night and no one has a black eye? You have my attention. We're discussing the nature of rulers. We're better to do so than here. I'll ask you the same question I asked Thrasymachos. Would you agree that the act of ruling is an art? It is an art, as all worthy undertakings are. That is not up for argument. Yet, medicine is for the betterment of the patient and not the physician. Carpentry improves the building, not the builder. Then, is the art of ruling not for the betterment of the ruled rather than the ruler? Don't be absurd! I've seen enough of the world to know that there are no just rulers. Even Pericles is self-serving. Is a Spartan general who brings order to his troops, thereby saving his own life self-serving? I'm not sure that's the case. Ruling a city and fighting in battle are different things. By practicing the art of war, doesn't the general guarantee some of his troops a ferry ride to Hades, when a swift retreat would save all their lives? You just said a general isn't self-serving when he brings order to his troops. Then you said he is self-serving because retreating would save the lives of his men? What are you trying to say? I never try to say anything. But you just said those things. I said the words, but I didn't say anything at all. I only attempted to gain your view on the matter. You're wasting your time. Aspasia. I couldn't help but notice your talent for debate. Well done. Socrates is an interesting character. Ah, Phoebe. Pericles has retired to the balcony already, has he? His ability to sneak off and sulk is second to none. I can go get him and Cassandra can help. Everyone listens when she talks. That'll be fine. Run along. Cassandra will be right behind you. Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Aspasia. I had to go to great lengths to cover up your work in Megaris. 
I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, now. To convince someone in this house, even your eyes must tell a lie. Fine, it was me. But my actions were personal, not political. We do what we must to survive, and there's no shame in that. It's how you got here, how I got here. The clothes, they fit you well, I trust. I'd be more comfortable in these clothes if I had a blade in my hand. You never really get used to them. It seems we have the attention of the entire room without a single eye being fixed on us. If you'd like to talk, do it now, and do it discreetly. I've been searching for a woman named Mirini, my mother. I think she may be in danger, and my search brought me here. What clues do you have to her whereabouts? A physician named Hippocrates may have seen her in Argos. He's a good man. If you find a woman named Agathi there, do let her know Aspasia sends her regards. What else? Alcibiades gave me the name of a woman in Corinth. I'm sure he did. My dear friend, Anthusa, is the only one I know who's enjoyed a life in Corinth through legitimate means. Mostly legitimate, anyway. That's all I have. There is another option. In a former life, when I needed something done or someone found, I contacted a friend. An admiral of a sort. What's his name? Her name is Xenia. When we last spoke, she was in chaos. A word of caution. When you go to her, be on your guard. Sea life makes a monster out of most people. Thank you, Aspasia. When you're done, return here. Together, we will find who you're looking for. Now do me a favor and get him to greet his guests. Perhaps later. First, explain to me your point of view. Of course, I only use the terms war or god or civility in the context of what can be observed. So I can observe soldiers fighting, but does that bring me any closer to understanding war? I haven't seen you around before, citizen. Perhaps you'd like to spare me conversing with this man of nonsense? Sure, we can talk. What about? Before Protagoras changed the subject, we were talking about the next great leader of Athens, Cleon. I saw Cleon speaking at the Pnyx. He's a real man of the people. So, you have a taste for politics. That's certainly better than most of the elitist blowhards in this house. I take it you and Pericles aren't friends. Hardly. Let me post let the Tsars to have Aspasia ostracized and to see Pericles stripped of power. Not that it worked. Yet. Pericles is the past. He's more worried about losing a few precious statues than he is fighting and winning the war. Cleon will rule this city and return it to greatness. Mark my words. I'm looking for clues to help me find a woman. She was Spartan. Looking and finding are quite different things, wouldn't you say? I could observe a priest offering sacrifice to the gods, but does that mean in so doing that I have myself found God? Or... Oh, forget it. If you're an ally of Cleon, why would Pericles invite you? You're not from Athens, outsider. Here, we keep our enemies closest of all. This has been useless. Ugh, I hate Get people it. like this at parties. The ones that are like freaking know-it-alls. I just, ah, oh, they're just annoying. Okay, I'ma push everyone. Uh, apparently, I'm supposed to look for something and I don't know what. I, I don't even know. There you are. Everyone else here is boring. Let's play a singing game. Uh, like okay, sing? I'll sing with you. I, I like to sing, I guess. Let, what are we singing? Let's uh, a good I drinking. Okay, too, cool. We will start? sing. That guy's hair, like, it reminds me of something of a bird's fine. nest. But let's let's sing a song good. about your a bird nest song? here, man. Is there any other kind? I love how this guy can barely stand up. He's just like, 
Okay. That is a weird song. That is that is not what I was vibing with. That no. Ah, uh, the timer. The timer is making me stressed. I hate being timed. Ooh, I can sing. Look at me. I can. Fun fact: Another person who can sing is great comedian guy. Like seriously, like it was. He was like joke singing in a stream, and I swear I, I heard him carry a tune. Like, damn, John John can sing. Bring their bottles. Bring their. Yeah, I'm, I don't even. I don't know if they played this at a club. If I'm just gonna enjoy the song or what? I I don't know. Nope. But we we're, we're drunk right now, so it's fine. I guess anything sounds good when you're drunk. Fantastic, fantastic, dude. Yep. Uh, uh, I don't think I want to talk about my mom right now. I think I've talked about her enough, uh, throughout this party. Like, you know, it's kind of dampening everyone's vibe. Might as well not sing about her too. Look at my arms though. Dang. Those are like arm goals. She's like so strong. Good job, Cassandra. Good job. That guy has skinny arms compared to me. Look at my arms. Like the veins are just show. Oh, look at me. I'm just vibing. I'm having a solo, guys. I'm having a solo. This is an emotional moment, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Mariah Carey right now. Closing my eyes and feeling the song. I feel it. I feel it. I'm feeling it, Cassie. I'm feeling it. Oh, he wants the V. He wants that V. And that guy's just trying to steal my thunder right there. Stupid. Stupid head. Yeah, you can call me later or send a carrier pigeon or I don't know. Actually, don't call me. I hate phone calls. I'm just freaking... No, just don't... You can text me with a carrier pigeon or something. Where am I going? I'm just pushing everyone. What am I doing? Okay, there's this nothing I can say to these useless. two idiots, Tweedledee and Tweedledum over there. Or more like Tweedle Smart and Tweedle Smart Ass. I don't even know, I just made that shit up. I thought it sounded clever, clever in my head and then I just... Yeah, I need to stop. I need to stop just saying whatever's in my head. I need to do like scripted freaking commentary. I won't do that, I'll never... I <laughs> uh, who's got the time to script commentary in a game? That's so dumb. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, flip, flip, flip. Damn it. I don't know where to go. Where is the freaking staircase? I know he's upstairs. I can see the gold freaking marker pointing up. But where? I can't even climb. Like, suddenly I can't be an assassin and climb. I'm just gonna push people angrily. Freaking hell. What the hell, man? I can't find my way. Cassandra! I didn't send for you. No matter how you've dressed for my party, Phoebe shouldn't have let you in. Aspasia told me to come find you. She wants you to come down to the party. Uh, she says I don't interact with our guests enough. But these parties aren't for me. Technically, you're a guest. If you join Erodos and me, that should be enough for her, don't you think? You really don't want to go downstairs, do you? When your days are spent speaking in front of crowds, you begin to crave these moments of silence. 
Or as silent as I let it be, at least. <laughs> Your life is in danger. Yes, yes, Herodotus was saying. This cult doesn't worry me. I have my life threatened by far worse people every day. My true concern is Athens. I fear for her future. The Spartans aren't your real concern, Pericles. The cult is coming, and they're bringing their strongest weapon. Listen to her, Pericles. The Spartans are immediate. A cult's threat is ambiguous. I'm... related to one of the cult members. And I believe him when he says they're coming after you. Sound counsel to consider. I'll be sure to let my men know, regardless. Aspasia, send me to see what's taking you so long. Tell Aspasia I'll be right there. I suppose this is where our conversation ends. Thank you again for helping me. I hope my guests are able to help you in your search. Time will tell. You look tired. Only of conversation. I think that's the most talking I've ever done. See? You didn't need a weapon after all. Are you leaving? I've had enough Athenian hospitality to last me a lifetime. You get used to it. It's nice. What are you going to do now? There's a woman on the island of Chaos that I need to meet. I think I'll head there first. I've heard there are pirates there. I'll be sure to be careful. Good. Before you go, I heard something from Aspasia. About Kefalonia. What is it? She said there was some sort of plague. You don't think... My friend, the blood fever. Don't think like that. Whatever happened on Kefalonia isn't our fault. I'll go myself and find out if this plague even happened, okay? Okay. Thanks. I knew I could count on you. Not going to beg to come along this time? Nope. I'm happy here. And this isn't Kefalonia. That means you'll be back. That's very true. Plus, I really like working for Aspasia. She says she has a mission for me. I'll see you soon, Phoebe. Bye, Cassandra! No, no one will get so I have gone and hit some donuts.